Hi! This video will help you prepare for Yosa auditions by giving you some tips on how to play one of our audition excerpts. Keep in mind that steady practice and ongoing work with your school, orchestra, or band director and a good private teacher are the best ways to improve your playing in the long run. Good luck! We look forward to hearing your audition. Excerpt number five is Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. The three things I would love to cover in this excerpt are one, having a clean spiccato, two, how to have meticulous rhythm, and three, how to troubleshoot your intonation. Now, the most difficult thing about this excerpt is having a great spiccato in perfect rhythm while playing pianissimo. That is a lot harder than it, than it sounds, actually. Um, the first thing I would do is actually work on this in forte just to feel like you have a great spiccato, you feel confident about your stroke, you can play those pitches nice and loud to make sure they're in tune. So start playing it in forte and then gradually work to get it nice and soft. What that is going to require is to bring your bow closer to the string and even use a little bit less bow, but try to maintain that same clarity that you had in forte. If your bow gets far from the string, things can get a little unruly and it's going to make you play louder than you want. Also remember that that spiccato is going to come from an opening of your elbow. Don't worry so much about controlling the spiccato from your hand. It's going to be in your elbow. And I also want you to pretend you've got a metronome right in here living in your elbow, which is going to bring me to my second point about having meticulous rhythm. I would start practicing this maybe around 70 or 80 to the dotted half note, but I would put on triplet or I would subdivide it by three. Now obviously the quarter notes are going to line up perfectly with those subdivisions, but you have to make sure that dotted quarter note, eighth note is perfectly in rhythm. Bum, 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 just like that. Now you're gonna work this up to tempo, and once you get to 112, go ahead and take off the subdivisions. So you'll just have one beat per bar. Let me get this here. At this tempo. Now, you might think you're done when you get here, but you're not. It's very easy to feel like You've got this down perfectly when we're really relying on the metronome to keep the pulse for us. So what I would like you to do is divide 112 in half and take your metronome down to 56. Now you're still going to play it just as fast, except now the metronome is going to be going once every two bars and you're going to have to stay accountable for the pulse of this piece. So you're internalizing that pulse. Bum, 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 bum. And that's a really great trick to really get your rhythm great. Lastly, um, intonation. Now, intonation is actually the least of our worries in this piece, right? There's nothing that super tricky here, but we don't want the intonation to go by the wayside because we're so worried about the spiccato and the rhythm. So what I would do in some spots is just play them slowly in forte on the string, like at measure 37, making sure those half steps are nice and close, crystal clear pitches. I want to note that two before A in 55 and 56, you do not need to play the double stop for the audition. The top note is fine. And when you shift, make sure that your shifting is not short and picky like your right hand. Usually when we do one thing with one hand, you want to do it with the other. I like to practice my shifts smooth and silky, which is opposite of our right hand. So two before B, I go up into fourth position. So 
So practice that getting that muscle memory of the fourth position there so you're not jerky around to your shift. And lastly, at B, I like to practice these octaves. I like to practice them in double stops. And then the shifting down. So that your hand is moving as a block every measure that you shift down. Now, it's really tough to play octaves and double stops, so what I would do first is put both of your fingers down, but only play the lower notes. You make sure you get that in tune. Once you feel good about that, go ahead and add your top note, but play that a little softer because we're really leaning on the bottom note for our pitch. About 75% of the volume should be from your lower note, 25 from the top note. And those are my tips for this excerpt. Make sure to listen to recording, and if you want, you can even play along with one too. Good luck!